as we can produce that diet i will try to increase the digestible protein for my client yesterday and i find it very very difficult because of the cost that is given me by the end of Yeah, I told you I will type this. I will type the picture up so that for you guys that have been for if you have been in fish mill for a very very long time, a uh, fish industry for a long time, and you have been to a lot of exhibitions too, you have been to a lot of places, you have have contact, and you have seen this feed advertised. I'm the producer of the feed, and I supply this feed to Ghana. I supplied it to to everywhere in the country. In shops in Abatio, I supply it into many shops around me here that they buy every on a daily basis. If you smell the fishes, you will see the palatability, the smell palatability of the fishes of the feed, and they are run on sinking feed. And I bet you, if you give this to your fishes for just a single month from juvenile, you will see the result by the end of the day. So why are we still on a copycat level? So let me just give you this scenario. Because I've worked with a lot of uh, producers on the extruder, and I have worked with the fabric, I've worked with the locally fabricated extruder producers, I've worked with the foreign, uh, most of the uh, foreign uh, extruder. I have been in the installation and I've used the, uh, most of their machines for production. So I noticed that all these extruders has their own ingredient. There's a concentrate you will give and it will never float. So by the time you want to get this to be float, like yesterday, that when I was doing the concentration for it to get float, I added five kilo of GNC into 50 kilo. I noticed that if the feed is not well dried, based on the machine we are using, it will not float. So I need to reduce this to like three kilo before it floats. So that tells me that it depending now that all these extruders are just run on flakes. They are on flakes, they can only float on flakes. That means ovals of all materials. If GNC can have ovals, fine, they will float conveniently. So they can even float, they can float on like before that we use toasted soya, we toast soya ourselves. I buy soya from, I buy bags of soya. I have women at the back of my farms, a lot of my males that, that toast it. They toast it very well. After toasting it, I grind it. After grinding it, I use it directly for my fishes. Toasted soya have all the malnutrition that you need in feed. It's not diluted, it's raw, it's pure. So by the time you are using your soya meal now, which is just flakes, and if you are using fail, the flakes, and they are still telling you flakes as well over 45% digestible crude protein, sometimes I wonder. We use the likes of what we call the food fat soya, which gives your fishes weight. It produces weight, enough weight, depending on how you use it. It will get to a certain time that your fish will be builded with fat. We sell weight, we sell weight. So there's a way we do this concentration. And when your fishes are getting to like four months, you build them up with a lot of calcium. We use a lot of calcium, we use a lot of DCP, we use a lot of uh, what we call the ostrich shell, we use a lot of. Um, uh, uh, bone meal that can give them uh, fat. We blend them so well. So by the time you look at this, they will give your fish so much weight. So what I'm trying to point out is that most of the problem we are having presently is the introduction of extruder. The introduction of extruder are killing farmers. That is the truth. They are killing farmers. Yeah, I will need some people to challenge me on this. The, but to me, by the time I vet and look at it very well, the introduction and the abuse, yeah, introduction and abuse of extruder are what are really killing farmers. What I mean by abuse is that most of us just coming into the fish farming newly do not give chance for information. Do not give chance to ask questions about your extruder, your, the producers of your extruder. They do not go there to ask them questions. And let me tell you something. If you notice, most of those people producing these machines does not have a practical farm. In order to demonstrate and use uh, this uh, product. As most, but all these big, big ones, all these big, big uh, industry that are producing by net free, most of them are for demonstration. But those people that are fabricating the machines does not have farms for demonstration. To see if you are using flakes, how many weights, it will give to their fishes at a, at, at, at a particular period. 
there's a there's one out there in my book i did a lot of write-up there are a lot of write-up there are practical write-ups i did i have to calculate i have to do a lot of things because i come out with the books by the time i check very well and i see and i do it practically every month i'm weighing my fishes that means you switch over time for like 2 mm to 3 mm which is 21 days 28 days 35 days on this switch over period i do and weigh my fishes so by the time i weigh my fishes i know a ranges of particular weight i got based on the feed and the concentrate i'm giving them but if I'm using locally made feed, I know what I got. But presently, in short, I find not even now. Now it may be before, but now all these feed that they are producing are not really encouraging. You cannot, it's very difficult for any man to get that average weight now. For, 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 from juvenile. Let me just read for, from juvenile to, for 21 days, I should be having an average weight of 150 grams to 200 grams. By the time you check it now, you may not get up to that. But if, but before you, you can be eating like 300 grams average weight. You can be eating 250 grams. That means the height. You can eat 250 grams, 200 grams. So all these are what we are still lacking. Please, I would like us for those of us who want to go for an extruder to ask questions from their fabricators to let them know the materials they can use. There are a lot of people that come to my DMs and tell me they just bought an extruder and the uh, materials is not floating. Sometimes I do ask, what is my problem on that? I'm not the producers of your uh, of your of your of extruder. When you are buying the extruder, you didn't contact me. So sometimes I don't ask to the fact. Some people I don't answer most of people that ask me those questions. Only if you are my client and you are patronize me, I can answer you because this takes time. You need to run on the concentration. You have to be removing what we call the fatty part of the concentration in order to increase more of the flex parts of the ingredient to allow the feed to float. So I can't be boring myself, wasting my time on that, which I have a lot of people that paid for my mentorship, that when they call me, I answer their call immediately, I see to their problem immediately. I can't be using that again to squeeze my time, my brain, to do the calculations for you. You have to go back to those people that does your fabrications for you. In short, this morning I'm a little bit angry because I'm not really happy, because I don't like if I'm uh, not making progress. So there's a client of mine recently that I have to buy a feed, a floating feed of 45% from juvenile. So that by the time they take the 45%, go to 42%, and now immediately go to 4MN to reduce the price. But the, the, the concentrate for them at that infant stage, they could build up their body tissues and pick. So there's a way you alternate this, there's a way you do this so that it can work for you. So to me, the challenges for this morning, or my great topic for this morning is that we are abusing what we call the extruder. We are abusing the feed that we are giving to our fishes. So we need to look at this and see where the problems are coming from. So a lot of experts have to come out for this. I know we have a lot of professors. We have a lot of great experts out there that can uh, 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 enlighten us all this uh, enlighten all these small small boys on how to go about it very well but for to me practically i discovered that most problem we are having is still from the abuse of the floating feed and the sinking feed the difference between the floating and the sinking feed are giving us the problem but to me if you try if you try to go back to what we call the sinking feed as we all know that catfish are bottom feeders we are going to speed our ROI, that means the return on investment is going to be boom, is going to peak. So to me, I will advise you, if you are still uh, failing in the business, if you don't know about feed concentration, make sure that you get my book on the uh, feed formulation. Yeah, I have a book for feed formulation. If you don't know about feed concentration, just read it, read it. So this will tell you, read to understand it, please. This will tell you how to concentrate your feed how to manipulate how to alternate your ingredient inside there you can alternate your materials you can alternate your cost depending on your location with this you can alternate for your sinking feed and you can alternate for your floating feed and again i have the book at all success in the launch farming 
melange uh, farming are the uh, fishes released for three months how to be successful in it there's a book for it to which i titled that too as well which will take you through a drastical uh, and a analysis on how to raise melange cut fish uh, uh, and lots of people are giving testimonies yeah a lot of people are guessing testimony and if you want to run a farm and you don't really want to have a farm and you want to join to value great value chain or catfish farming we have what we call the catfish smoked uh, business you can join that too if you don't know how to do it i have a book for that too as well that will take you through all that and will guide you through and i have what we call the feasibility studies and the business plan that you can use as an IQ to run that too as well so and we have for those of us who want to run who want to know how to write a comprehensive business plan we have a book for that too as well and for those of you who are still working and don't really are scared about jumping from your work to be an uh, an entrepreneur or to be an employee employer employer yeah i have a book for you too as well which i taught him how to start your business from the scratch starting your business from the scratch this book is voluminous it's highly educated read and understand there's no how you read and understand and it will never give you courage on how to start your own business these are some of the encouragement i have to start up it's not easy in the country yeah because i can see a lot of people fly out of the country and come back in a year's time they started driving a lot of cars but as we know the government here is not encouraging us so for those of us that can really sustain can sustain what i mean by sustain is that they can still see us and they can still see a rich part of our skin and they can still see that we are getting a little bit fatter and they can still see that we are riding a car at present they can still see that we have a house our own house at this present time in nigeria so i think we need to be giving what we call kudos yeah it's not easy it's not easy so there are a lot of professionals out there that are working to us how to sustain our fans for us somebody like me mentioned of uh, uh, some of the great uh, uh, activity they are doing in Alaska farm for their what we call the uh, blast uh, 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 catfish yeah which is uh, highly encouraging and applied i normally like people doing great things so i so much appreciate them i appreciate their present uh, uh, president for because he's a young hearted person that i think it has what we call brain so it will give more innovations more um, uh, innovations to 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 more expansion on how fish farming be, uh, can gain profit by the end of the day because if this blast fish is out there and is springing wisely and i think by the end of the day there will be what we call an equilibrium all these market women they are chakra which reduce a little bit so and i have a lot of people a lot of professionals out there i think i have one of my boss too in uh, akure which is called the uh, husky i so much appreciate him a lot he's a is a is a person that is doing great job uh, presently that i so much appreciate so i'm just saying kudos to you i'm just uh, using this to tag you to say kudos to you so uh and for those of us who are still down there having a lot of problems please this information will be highly good for you so please make sure that you look at this and maybe for my next topic i will elaborate more on this and i will talk more on these factors or how to come back on how to do yours that will be successful please i will be dashing out some secret which will help a lot of farmers so from this angle i'll be saying a very big thank you for those of you that have subscribed to this uh share for our youtube channel for those of you that follow us or those of you who run comment and most especially for those of you who patronize us on a daily basis i'm saying a very big thank you to you that god will bless you uh god will grace you uh, and you will have all the fulfillment you deem fit to have.